In this tutorial, we will model this part here. You'll see that I have not used dimensions in this part, and that is because there are just too many dimensions to input into a single schematic such as above. And so for the dimensions, um, feel free to either pause or play the video in slow motion, and you'll see the dimensions uh, as I put them in throughout the model. So having a look at this model, it's slightly complex. We have a number of um, sort of mating components and quite an awkward uh, flange geometry there. So let's begin by drawing that. Let's go on 2D sketch. Let's start a 2D sketch. We'll start this on the X and Z plane. And we'll start with the larger of the two circles, which has a rad of 52.5. We'll multiply that by two to give the diameter. And then we'll input the PCD, so that's a pitch circle diameter that lies on a 91 uh, millimeter, that's a 91 diameter millimeter circle. Put that as a construction line. And then we'll just input some of our through holes here. So on the top quadrant of the PCD, we have eight, eight millimeter diameter circles. So I'll just use a vertical constraint between the center point and the origin. That's now fully constrained. And then we'll circular pattern this eight mil diameter hole about the origin. We'll use eight instances, which are equispaced across 360 degrees of revolution. Okay. And there we have our mounting holes. We'll also draw in the through hole here. So this has a, oh sorry, this will be the inner diameter of the pipe, which in this case is 30 millimeters. And now that's fully constrained. So we can move on now to the smaller circle to which we'll draw in. This has a rad of 40 mil, so that's a diameter of 80. It's also got a pitch circle diameter of 66 mil. Just going to right click and identify that PCD as a construction line. And now we need to position this. So this circle here is positioned 30 degrees. So to do this, let's draw in two, uh, two lines on the larger circle, one horizontal and one at a angle like that. We'll then identify these as construction lines and we'll put in a 30, um, 30 degree angle between the two. Then we'll just draw in a construction line on this circle here. I'm going to put a collinear constraint between this line here and this line. And then we know that this circle here is constrained to this 30 degree angle. And then we'll put a dimension between the two center points. And that will be 91 millimeters. Okay, so our circles are positioned. We're now putting the th uh, through holes on this PCD here. We'll start at the top quadrant, and again, that's eight millimeters, and there are eight of them. Then the vertical constraint between the center point and the center point of the larger circle. Circular pattern, this circle, and for our axis, we we'll choose the center point, eight instances, and again, equispaced across 360 degree revolution. We'll then choose the line tool. We'll just join up these two circles. I use a tangent constraint to put this line in the correct place. And then on the other side here, we have a, that's an eight, uh, eight millimeter radius. So for this, I'll draw in a circle of 16 mil. I'll put that circle tangential to both of the larger and the uh, smaller circles here. And then we use the trim tool to tidy this up a bit because this sketch is getting a bit messy. So we'll take out the lines that we don't need. We'll also take out this line here. And they're gonna take out this 16 mil dimension, which was the diameter, and we'll put in the rad of eight mil. We'll also put in the through hole of the pipe, which will spawn from this area here. So again, that's 30 mil diameter. And now we are ready to extrude. Uh, our our flange face. So we'll select that profile. We'll extrude that by do 10 millimeters. Press OK. OK, that's looking good. And now we need to sweep all these two pipes. So for this, we can use the XY plane. Do a new sketch on here. I'll start the line from the center point, this circle which I'm going to project the geometry of. Choose the center point of this line like so. Go back to the front view. We'll draw a vertical line. We'll then draw in an arc. Or we'll come across like so. Use a tangent constraint between the arc and this line here. 
we'll put in the radius of this arc here, which is 40 millimeters. We'll put in the dimension from the end point here to the base point. That is 60 millimeters. And then we'll finally just put in the dimension from the end point of this line to the uh, origin there at 143 millimeters. And that sketch is now fully constrained. So we can finish that sketch. We can start a new sketch on this plane. We'll draw in the circle. So this will be the outer diameter of the pipe, which in this case is 40 millimeters. We've got a 3D model and we'll sweep. Select our profiles. We'll select both of these profiles here. We'll select the path. So yeah, looking at the preview, that's correct. We'll press OK. And then next we'll draw in the flange, which is just positioned here. So for this, we've got a 3D model. We'll offset a plane, and this plane here, be in the minus direction, that would be minus three millimeters. Then select that plane, and we will create a 2D sketch. We'll use the two-point center rectangle for this tool. We'll start from the center point. The dimensions of the flange are 60 by 60. We then need to put in our fillets. So the fillets are, I'm oh sorry, the rads on the corners are eight mil radius. So we'll select each of these corners like so. Right click, press OK. I'm just going to hide uh, this plane. And now we'll start to draw in the mounting holes. So let's draw in two of these. Uh, they're all eight millimeters. Constrain them to these lines here. Then we'll dimension between the Oh, that's the wrong dimension. Dimension between the two center points is 44 millimeters. And then we'll put in a vertical constraint again between the two center points. So now they're fully constrained. We're just going to mirror these across. We'll draw a vertical line down, put that as a construction line. And we'll go to mirror, select our two circles for the mirror line, construction line, apply. Now we have our circles. We can go ahead and extrude that flange. We'll screw that in the opposite direction. And this has a uh, depth of eight millimeters. Okay. Then we have our flange face there. Just gonna put in the fillet detail on these two edges here. They'll both be three millimeters. Okay. And now we need to draw in the other pipe. So we use the same method here. So that'll be the sweep command. So first of all, let's start uh, by drawing the path. For this we'll need to input a new plane. So we need to cross this with a point that we'll input, which will be at the center of this circle here. So we'll project that geometry, put in a point. Just going to finish the sketch here. I'm going to input a new plane, be parallel to an existing plane, and we'll go through the point which we just drew in. So we'll select parallel to this plane, and we'll select this point here. And as you can see, we now have a new plane in which we can sketch on. We'll do 2D sketch, start the line tool. And before we do that, I'm going to hide this sketch here. We no longer need that. Go to sketch 14, edit that sketch. I'm going to project the geometry of this circle. So we have a flat line. And from the center point of this flat line, I'm going to draw vertically like so, and I'm then gonna put in a arc. I'm gonna make a horizontal constraint between the endpoints of this arc. I'm gonna put in a vertical constraint on this line here as well. Let's dimension uh, this rad here. So this is 22.75 millimeters. And then we need to put in a distance of this line here. So this is 85 from the base. So I'll select the top point, and the base here, 85 millimeter. I'm gonna hit F7 on the keyboard, uh, get a cross section view, see what's going on here. I'm going to extend this line down to the origin. So to do this, I'll project this geometry and then continue this line to the origin like so. And that's our path complete. So we'll finish the sketch there. I'm gonna hide this plane. So right click, press V. 
let's draw our profile to which we will use to sweep. So this will start from the center point. So again, I'm just going to project that geometry. And this will be the outer diameter. So we're getting 40 millimeters. We've got a 3D model and we'll sweep those two profiles. It will select the path to be this path here. Yeah, that preview is correct. Press OK. Looking good so far. Now let's use the uh, shell command. Here we go. And we'll select the faces to which we wish to remove. So we'll select this face, this face here, and this face. And the thickness in this case, so the OD is 40 mil, the ID is 30 mil. That's of both pipes. And so the wall thickness is five millimeters. Input five, press OK. And we can see we have our holes here, which is correct. You can see also the hole uh, just at the join here is correct also. Let's tidy this up with some fillets. We don't like to have these sharp edges. Put in some four mil fillets on both of these edges. Also the external ones here. And also the joins about the flange face. Select apply. Put in one more fillet here, which have a one mil rad on this edge here. Press OK. And there we have our completed part. Just to check that it is correct, let's go to view. Let's do a half section view. Start at this face here and we'll just run through the model and make sure everything is as it should be and particularly around the join of the two pipes here. So that is correct. Exactly what we want to see. All smooth edges so that we're getting laminar uh, fluid flow, no turbulence. We'll just go back in the opposite direction. A flange. And there we have our completed part. If you have any questions about this, please post them in the comments section and I'll reply as soon as I can. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.